John, how are we looking on the injury front out of this weekend? Everyone's uh, okay. Uh, just um, obviously just waiting for Marley. Um, I think Marley's training today. Um, so uh, yeah, everyone's fit. Looking at the past two games, obviously over the Easter period, and you've got two left now. What what's sort of the feeling in, in the dressing room? Just trying to finish as, as well as you can, really. Yeah, we want to finish it off right. Um, obviously, ideally, get two wins and go into the summer, and uh, you know, and then uh, that's all we can do now. Is uh, you know, we d when I came in, the uh, job was to obviously get safe. Um, we got safe a few weeks ago, and and now we just want to finish it off. I remember when those when you saw your fixtures when you came in. A lot of people were saying, "Well, oh, Port Vale versus Macclesfield could be a huge game at the bottom," and it it still is for one of those teams. But how relieved are you that it's not got as much on it for yourselves? No, just pleased that obviously we got safe and there's nothing on it for us. Um, we still want to win the game, obviously, um, and get to 50 points. Uh, but obviously, it's a massive game for them. And, uh, but as we showed against MK, you know, MK, we're going for the playoffs. Whoever we play against, you know, it won't be a given for the opposition. Mm. Um, what are your feelings ahead of facing your former club? Uh, just, uh, you know, first of all, we want to win. Uh, that's the main thing. Um, hopefully, they stay up. Um, but the uh, main thing for me is, uh, you know, how we play, uh, perform in front of the, the home crowd. We need to finish off right, and uh, you know, and play some good football. How do you look back on your time at the club? Obviously, it's enjoyable one, uh, uh, successful. You know, I think I got four four promotions uh, as a player. Uh, obviously, a promotion as a as a manager. Um, so uh, yeah, very enjoyable. And obviously, you know, I've, uh, uh, it's been a big part of my life and uh, an enjoyable part. And what do you make of what Sol Campbell's done there, sort of turning them around from looking like they were dead and buried to obviously now looking like they, they could stay up? Yeah, he's done well because, as you say, they were, I think there was, was it seven points adrift or more? Um, and then he's got them in, into a chance now where it's in their own hands. So, uh, no, he's done a good job. Looking at the players for next season again, we've seen Danny Elliott being given a chance. Do you think some other players may be given a chance in these last two games, potentially? Um... I think it's important the last game that uh, players that have played the majority of the season get the chance to uh, obviously finish finish off um, finish off the season as well. Um, there aren't that many players that I haven't seen now, so uh, the main thing is to to go into the game strong and uh, you know and get the win. We spoke last week about the difficulty of, of, of planning for next season, but also wanting to it yourself. What does that mean for, for players coming in? Co we know conversations take place before the end of the season. Is it difficult for you because you, you can't really have those in, in set in stone? No, all you can do is try and line people up, um, you know, just in case. Uh, and that's obviously what, what we need to do is look at, you know, if we are here, um, what, what I feel as though we'd need. And uh, that's, that's the position really until, uh, you know, it all gets sorted one way or the other. Have you had any more word on your future? Yeah, I've, I've spoken. I've spoken to Norman. I've spoken to uh, to Carol as well. So, uh, but uh, as I say, until until something happens, then then nothing can get done either way. But you're feeling maybe a bit optimistic after those conversations, or yeah, yeah. You, as I say, you you can't because obviously I don't know what the budget's going to be. Um, that's you know, and that's the big thing. It, you know, if they're it's, it's no use as a when I was at Shrewsbury you, you go in a little bit blind and if the budget's not the budget for people's expectations you want to hide into nothing so uh, you know it's no use signing as a manager if you you know you can't do something at the football club uh, that's what I've learnt um, but uh, no we'll see what happens and hopefully the main thing is that you know the uh, the club gets secure you know if, if Carroll takes over I think there'll be a big um, boost for the football club initially, and then uh, and then it's up to obviously her to, to to carry that on, and hopefully she can be successful as a, as an owner if she does get the club. Looking at some of the players as well who are here at the moment, do you get the impression for, from maybe conversations you've had that they might that a lot of them are up for, for staying if you're going to be here next season? Yeah, I think so. I think uh, while well, while I've been anyway, that you know they seem as though they enjoy it. 
And uh, yeah, I'd, you know, I'd like to think that the ones that Port Vale would want, that uh, they'd want to stay because it's it's a very good club, you know, and the foundations are there to for the club to be successful in this league at least. And Tom Conlon was just telling us there about how you've been in training, you've been sort of pairing the left-sided players together, the left back, left midfielder, and. In him, is that something which you think has, has helped the team become a bit more tight knit since you've come in? It's just part of um, just coaching, really. Um, you know, just getting combinations, and you know, he, as it showed against MK, he, he, he paid off. You know, and uh, well, no, it's, it's doing things like that is just the norm, really, and uh, just getting people to to work together um, and then get them to work as a team. So, yeah, just a normal day, really. And the fans have really got behind you since you come in. How nice would it be to send them to the summer happy with a, with a win on Saturday? That's what we want. Obviously, it took time uh, for us to uh, to start playing something like the football that we want to play. But it, the response has been really good, and uh, I think there's uh, a, you know a feel for good factor, you know, with everything that's going on. Uh, and hopefully, you know, they can start the season and uh, you know get the results that you know the supporters deserve because they should be doing better than obviously they have been doing. But a lot of clubs can say that too. You know, you only got to look at Notts County and teams who, uh, you know, are in the conference and conference north. Um, you know, you've got to have the building blocks in place if you want to be successful. And hopefully that'll be the case for Paul Vale uh, because, uh, you know, we all want them to do well.